Kia ora friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gina and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I made these stained glass panels for this door. I've made a number of doors on this channel so I'm not going to go through that but I am going to go through step by step how I made these stained glass windows. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to make some stained glass windows and what I'm actually going to use is some packaging material that is just comes off a lid of a sushi box, I think it might be. So I've just cleaned these down. I'm going to make a couple of versions of them so I can try out a couple of different colorways. And then I'm just going to use some black permanent vinyl that will come in my Cricut Joy. And I've also got some transfer tape. But first of all, what we need to do is work out a design so i'm just going to open up my laptop and i've just selected a couple of files these are from the images within the design studio itself and then i'm just going to go through and select the material open up the cricut joy and feed in the permanent vinyl and then oh we well, can't have a video without my little helper loki so welcome loki come and join us and so i'm just going to let that run through and then once it's finished i can unload the vinyl and then look to weed out all of the little bits in between to give me the pattern that I'm looking for. One of the things that I'm going to be do using is some UV resin and the UV resin I've got some colours that are specifically designed to go into resin. I've got blue, yellow and brown and then a couple of um, opaque white and black and so what I was hoping to do was do a couple of colours in red but I don't actually have red so uh, I'm actually just going to do one one particular design or colourway and then that is what we're going to be doing today so even though I've got two I'm going to use one as a bit of a test piece just to kind of get an idea of the amount of colour that I can put in it so that the resin still hardens and we're going to go from there. So just using a bit of transfer tape to transfer the permanent vinyl onto the packaging and then once I'm happy with that I can cut those out. I'll take a wee moment to jump in here and talk about my Etsy store. I've created another six original paintings that I've made available as prints. These are available in four scales so there's one six which is actually I often use this as a large one twelfth scale. Obviously one twelfth, one twenty fourth and one forty eight. These are are all available in the correct scale and there's no need to resize them. All you need to do is download them, print them onto A5 paper and they are absolutely the perfect size. So I've got two lots available, version one which is the original ones that have always been available on my store and then I've got the six new prints which are now available. Got any queries please don't hesitate to drop a question in the comment section below and I'll be able to answer those for you. And so now let's get back to the video. So using a bit of UV resin I'm just going to put that onto the spare parts of the packaging that I've just cut away and mix in some of those colours and then I'm just going to work my way around. So what I'm going to do after each stage is actually use my UV light and just make sure that that is all locked into place before I kind of move on to the next step. So there's quite a few moments that I'm using the light and that's just helping all of it to just set and harden. So I'm just going to work my way around just using some various variances of blue and yellow so I'm going to go into some shades of green and turquoise and then I'm going to come through and mix in a bit of brown as well. This particular project is for a club and it's to go at the show at the end of the year. The theme for the show if you haven't seen any other videos is what's at the top of the stairs and we're going to be making a couple of facades of some brownstone New York brownstone buildings so hopefully I should be able to show you a little bit more of that. We've just got the door which you would have seen at the beginning and then we've got a set of stairs as well so next month we'll be doing the actual building so hopefully I'll be able to share a little bit more of that and so the idea is that you open the door and then you can actually see what's inside so what's at the top of the stairs so I'm still working through what I'm going to put at the top so this is um, this is coming together really nicely and I'm really happy with all the colours that have come through and it's given me some nice variation so I'm just going to put another piece of packaging over the top before I slip it into the door itself. So there is an opening at the top just so that the, the panes can slip in. And then that gives me a nice smooth surface on both sides. And if there is any resin that hasn't quite cured yet, it gives some time for it to 
be able to cure between those two pieces of plastic. So if you've liked this video, hit that like button, and if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, everyone, I'll see you then. Bye for now.